Um, we decided to introduce Reasoning with O1, built in partnership with OpenAI and taught by Colin Javis, who's head of AI solutions at OpenAI. Welcome, Colin. Thanks, Andrew. In this short course, you learn how to best prompt and use OpenAI's new O1 model, which was a major breakthrough in getting models to reason. Colin will share the new best practices for using it, which are somewhat different from previous LLMs. Until recently, LM researchers have found that they can scale LM performance by increasing the number of parameters or by increasing the number of tokens used in training. Now, OpenAI has opened up a third scaling dimension using what they call test time compute. Test time compute gives the LM more time to think at inference time. This has resulted in a model with striking improvements in STEM and reasoning tasks. For example, in a qualifying exam for the International Math Olympiad, GPT-40 correctly solved only 13% of problems, while the reasoning model scored 83%. Colin can tell you more. Colin's been with OpenAI since ChatGPT was introduced and has been helping users, such as yourself, successfully use OpenAI models in their applications. At OpenAI, we've found that by training a model using reinforcement learning to use chain of thought, it is better able to navigate reasoning heavy tasks. A model trained in this way significantly outperforms GPT-40 on math, coding, and reasoning tasks. However, O1 is not the right model for all tasks and prompting O1 is different from previous models. You'll learn how to best use O1 in this course. Here's what you'll learn. The first lesson, will explain the core technical ideas behind how O1 was built. Specifically, how scaling at inference time works, what use cases it unlocks, and where we're seeing developers make best use of these models in the real world. The next lesson, will go over how to best prompt O1. Next, it turns out O1 works really well in agentic workflows. You will learn how to use O1 to solve complex, multi-step problems with planning. You'll use combinations of models together, using O1's greater intelligence for planning and faster, less expensive models like GPT-40 for task execution. After that, you'll use O1 to do some coding. O1 is actually really good at coding. And then you'll try out a really cool new feature which we're super excited about, which is reasoning with images. Image understanding has always been tough to get in production, but combining O1 and image reasoning, we believe we've reached new levels of performance. And finally, we'll wrap with using O1 to generate and improve your prompts, a technique we call metaprompting. That's a lot of new LLM techniques. This is a new direction for LLMs that will impact how you use them going forward. I think you find this course really important.